Yo, what's up people? Welcome to the final part of GTA 5 100% and we're going to be doing the very last mission of the game. Here we go. Here we go. The final mission. Hey, Slick, it's me! <laughs> what the fuck do you want? You got my money, punk? Hey. You got some coconut water or something like that? I need some electrolyte. Damn, it's kind of warm, isn't it? Man, you got a death wish or something. Am I supposed to kill you now? Oh, no, bro. Not me. Nah. Oh, yeah. But that's my boy. Yeah, but that's my boy. He has betrayed everyone he's ever known. He's got you involved with the federal government, and he's messed up several business ventures of mine. He has got to go. And you know what? I'd like to say that this isn't personal, but it is personal. But the feds, man. The feds have told me to kill Trevor, and I obviously can't kill them both. The feds. Steve Haynes, Dave Norton. I own shopping malls. I would not employ those two clowns then. And I make one phone call, their careers, they are over. So you gonna A, listen to some 50 grand a year pension hunter, or B, a billionaire, who even the president lets finger his wife, or C, try and be really stupid and save those two idiot mentors of yours and have everybody in the goddamn state crawling up your ass. A, B, or C, time's ticking, pal. Beep, 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 and your answer is... Man, you know what? Man, fuck you. Genius answer, pal. Total genius, but time is running. You think about it. Me, I got a triathlon coming up, and I am in deep training. Bye bye Man, fuck you. All right, and I'm going to go for C. Of course we're going to go for C. Franklin. Lester, dog. Man, we need to talk. I got a problem I need your help with. Man, actually, fuck it. Man, we all got a problem you can help us with. Calm down, all right? Come to my house. All right, I, all right, I'm coming. All right, so we need to go and visit Lester then. Well, I'm on my way then. So this is it then, people. <laughs> Ain't this amazing? The very final mission. Now, some people told me to go for C, so... I always go for C anyway, so... C is the best ending out of all of them. But anyways, let's just, um... Let's just get over there. Come on, man, I've got a mission to do. Right, so let's just get there at least. Like, seriously, I'll be with the final part of this walkthrough. Like, seriously. I just can't believe we're gonna get somewhere, finally. Like, how long that we have come so far? Like, seriously. How long we've come over? And we're finally gonna do this. Ain't that amazing? So we need to go and see Lester first and see what they want, or what does he want, of course. Right. Here we are. Right. What does he want, then? Right. Here we go. What's the panic, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, imagine a fucking scenario that will fuck things up the worst. Boy, my mind is just racing. But you know, I don't want to say something that's really exciting and then you have to act all deflated and say, no, no, it's just that somebody got the same tattoo I got. So why don't you just go ahead and tell me? Some motherfucker wants me to kill Michael. Some other motherfucker wants me to kill Trevor. I feel I can't kill both of them. Man, I'm fucked, man. I don't know what the fuck to do right now. Damn. Oh, I can see that. Well, who are the motherfuckers? <sighs> Steve Haynes, uh, this angry motherfucker from the FIB. Yeah. Um, Devin Weston, man, you know the um. Oh, that angry that, um, rich. F 
fucker from whatever hole he hibernates in. Exactly. All right, all right. I say kill Michael, then kill Trevor. Oh. Man, are you for real? You're fucked, you know? I, I, I don't know. You know everything, dog. I know, okay? But I, I, I'm sorry. I guess this is it. You know, I'm doing my best, man. I don't know how you can deal with both of them. I know, man. Shit. We're fucked. Every single one of us is fucked. Unless... Okay. Steve Haynes is under a lot of heat because of the shootings at Court Center. And Devin Weston is A, known to be a major asshole, and B, known to be friendly with Don Percival, who runs Merriweather. I think, actually, Weston owns a piece of Merriweather. Right, 11%. Pretty good for a pseudo-liberal owning a private army. So, they would both love to be involved in capturing the bullion that we just lifted. If I tell them both, that you boys are at the foundry and where you had heights melting it down, then maybe, maybe both of them will pay you a visit and bam, we turn it into a, a bust. I ain't got no better ideas. All right, I'm gonna get in touch with Michael and Trevor. You go to the foundry, get yourself set up. I got you. All right. All right. What's up, homie? Man, things are kind of fucked up right now, dawg. It's all good, nigga. Who better to have in a fucked up situation than a fucked up fool like me? Man, that's what the fuck I wanted to hear. Hey, look, I'm coming to your crib to get your ass. I'm here. Oh. All right, so we gotta go and pick up Lamar. All right, then. Pick up Lamar from his house. rolling rivers then for this final mission <laughs> god this has been a very long journey this has there he is where are we going we are uh, heading to the foundry place here we go hey look hear me out man if it's too heavy for you, you can back out. No drama. Hit me with it. Man, we got a real problem, dawg. My boys, man. Well, we're trying to save them. You actually doing something for your homies for a change? Hell yeah, I'm in. Who want to clap your homies? Who don't, nigga? These Chinese dudes, some FIB cats, the rich white asshole who scammed us on them cars. Devin Weston? That punk bitch? Why didn't you say we was creeping on him? We ain't creeping on him, nigga. At least I don't think he gonna be there. We gotta take all the heat he can throw at us before we worry about how we coming back on his ass. But you is coming back, right? Oh, hell yeah, we creeping on that fool. Oh, so you ain't the mercurial motherfucker you frontin' ass, huh? Man, I'm just trying to make something out of myself, dawg. That don't change who my homies are, nigga. It don't change my family. Shit, nigga, you getting me all emotional now. Nigga might have to stop me from sucking your dick, nigga. Look, man, Michael and Trevor, they should be inside. Can you stay out here and let us know when the bad dudes is coming? <laughs> right, here we go. Showdown with a private army, and you're bringing a rifle? Yeah, I'm bringing a rifle. Hey, man, what the fuck am I doing risking my ass trying to save y'all ass if you just gonna kill each other? Hey, you're not saving me, you're saving him. Ah, oh, you're saving this fat fuck. Man, y'all gotta keep y'all fucking heads right and end this shit. If not, man, I'll put bullets in both of you motherfuckers. Hey, they here? I know them when I see them, homie. They creep. All right, good. Y'all hear that? Now, if we doing this shit, man, it's either now or never. Come on, Trevor. Fuck it! your position right there. Okay. I'm gonna go over there.
Hey. You're the builders. Watch your stack. Gee, they're all the fly away. Alright, let's hit the shotgun out. Let's do this, people. This is it, people. Final machine now begins. Can't see him with the light on. Keep your head. Alright, so what we do, we clear out all of the Mayweather and the agents. Alright. So I'll just keep killing them then. Go to Lamar. Right, let's go to him then. <sighs> they run up on me. Hold tight, man. I'm on my way. No way. Keep your hand down, they all coming. Right, so we should health kits here somewhere. Should be one. There we go, we got ya. Trevor, no problem. Say something! Trevor! There's more zone outside, homies! There, have that. Trevor! Oh, he's over there. Okay. There you are! Man! You had me worried. I was a little right. Let's switch to Trevor. Wind it, all right. Oh, he uses his ability to take out some of these guys. No, oh, don't fly. I took the key out. It's nice to see you so worked up. Next time, I'll leave you to it. Oh, look out for agent. Right. Still use this. So they've got dangerous guns they have. Are we clear? Yeah, all clear. Right, we'll... Frank, we're clear inside. Move into the exits. Go outside. All right, we'll go. Out... I'll go out this way. Right, I recommend being Trevor for the takeout because you know once again his special ability.
I'm using that ability a lot, like seriously, because there's like a whole bunch of them, like seriously. There you go. Nice. Regroup then. So, uh, oh. what's up? Uh, what's next? Huh? We're just gonna wait around for someone to kill us, or are we gonna wait till this fucker gets turned oh, again? Huh? Bite me. Ain't anybody getting turned again, and you know it. Hey man, the way I see it, we only just begun to clean this shit up. We got a lot of old friends I think need to be re-educated. A lot of friends. I mean, things could get really messy. No, we just gotta silence a few noisy people. <laughs> Hell yeah, well, let me see. There's, uh... Steve Haynes. Dave Norton. No, we need him alive. Why? So nobody fucks with us afterwards. What about that tribe, motherfucker? The one that think you two boys is dating? Shit, you know he bound to come back. Yep, there's that. Well, who's the, uh, the guy who set up Lamar? Hmm? Stretch? We want to throw him in? Shit, Trevor will throw anyone in just to satisfy his bloodlust. Whoa! Hey! It's called a fucking loose end, all right? Now, if we're gonna be men of peace and tranquility, we tie up loose ends. Man, Stretch has been a liability. But then we're gonna have to take care of our old pals, Devin Weston and Steve Haynes. Oh, fuck, what a mess, man. Well, let's get it cleaned up. How about you get Lester on the line? Stop calling this number. Hey, it's me, dawg. <laughs> You're alive. I thought someone might have your phone. No, nah, no, nah, but look, I got you on speakerphone. Oh, did Mike make it? Yeah, I'm here. And the other one? <clears throat> See you putting the ground, Wheels. Uh-huh. You, um, just calling for a chat? No, we got some work to do. Can you get us some whereabouts? Oh, I'll do my best. Who? Steve Haynes, to start. And Devin Weston's ad. And, uh, Wei Ching. W-E-I-C-H-E-N-G. Wei Chang. Wei Chang. And Franklin's pal, Stretch. Huh, Stretch? Yeah, man, look, his real name is Harold Joseph. Okay, well, I can tell you that Agent Haynes is taping a show over on Del Perro Pier. Shooting permit came up immediately. Check it! Oh, I wanted to ice that fucker since the moment I met him. All right, all right. Ah, I got a signal from Mr. Harold Joseph's phone over at the B.J. Smith Recreation Center. No, I got him. I got him. Let's keep him clear of uh, known associates. All right, thanks, dog. You got it. What you got for me? Tao Ching's credit card just bought a Magnum at the beach club in Pacific Bluffs. Okay, I'll go ask his ass about his punk ass dad. And when I find Mr. Weston, I'll send the coordinates. All right, good. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna switch to Michael first because he's um he's closest to the first target. So, anyways. You never ran, or a beaten Take out stretch. Wax, never no problem. Turn the radio off. Don't need it on right now. Right. So we got to kill all of the um, three of the um, main bosses so far. Right. Now, t for the gold medal activity, you got to kill him with a melee attack. So get a knife out. Or Respectful ass motherfuckers trying to break the order of things. Who's this peck? Ah! Right. Right, here we go. Kill the ballers. Escape the ballers. Easy way to do is just kill them. I'm clear. Your pal Stretch? He ain't a problem no more, Frank. Shit, he wasn't my pal. He was a dude who ganked us, homie. Thanks. So what we got, man? We got Wei Chang and Agent Haynes on the list. Alright, let's go to Trevor. Nice and Haynes next. Once again, still closest. Right, bring down Hayes. So to get a goal and police activity, you gotta try and shoot him with a headshot. Right, so <coughs> pardon me. I'm moving. 
moving on Haynes. Les, see if you can patch me into his radio mic. I want a last reminder of what an annoying prick he is. Los Santos. A shut up, shut up, shut up. Right. It's Los Santos. A city of celluloid. A city of scumbags. The last great American melting pot. Two parts of right. the Gotta shoot him in the headshot. Reality. Mix. And this is the result. Throw in a senior FIB agent. And you've got a unique look at what's really going on under the hood. This is a land of dreams. But sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares. Gotcha! Oh my god! Guy! What's his name? He shot him! Lose the cops, no problem. Requesting backup for a 187 at Del Ferro Pier. You've been reported as FIB agent CP. Proceed with caution. Suspect is the possible 918 victim. Right, so all we do is just get away from them. Just run away. <laughs> That's what I'll just do. Just run away from them. Hopefully not cop cars will drive here anyway. Hopefully I'll lose him eventually. Which I think I will anyway sometime soon. Just keep running away over here. Hey, Lester! I dealt with Haynes. You got a location on Devon Weston yet? Yeah, yeah, I do. The Merriweather team was dispatched to protect him in his house in the Tongva Hills. Uh, I say house, it's more of a... Yeah, whatever. I'll go up there and get him. Who's next? I hate the boy Chang. Don't worry, I'm on me. Right, final one. Mr. Chang, then. Right. Just so the... So, for gold medal, we've got to kill him with a sticky bomb. So, we've got four of those. Which is a good thing. Right, so, and there'll be some guards on him as well, so, anyways. <clears throat> right. Devin's house, then. Right, now it's time for the main enemy of the game. <clears throat> main enemy, Devin Weston. Right, let's pick him up. Right. Right, gotta keep that Devin. We got a cop set! Protect! Alright, just gotta get to Devin. And take out the girls at the same time. You can't hide forever! Right, now we kidnap Devin. I know you're hiding over there, ain't you, mates? Right, come on, you. Wait, wait, hear me out! Uh. 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 No more talking! Oh, 
Right, now let's get to let's get to the drop off then. Or location at least. Big shortcut. I got Mr. Weston. Let's take him out of the city, make him disappear. Meet me on the cliff off the GOH, Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Right, let's take the shortcut down here. Don't want to follow the road. So let's get the shortcut down here. Whoa. Whoa, careful. Right, so now we just go just a little bit more further, and then we'll get to there. Hmm. Where am I? What happened? Come on down, please. Think about this. This is why the people I put in my trunk are usually dead. <laughs> okay, if you say so, though. <clears throat> oh. This is a long ass mission though, I can give you that though. Say, I think it's even the same long as um, San Andreas or something, but uh, you know, you're a, you're it's a long mission though. The CEO position's gonna be vacant real soon, Slick. I've got nothing against you, apart from the obvious hygiene issues. Michael caused me problems, so Michael had to go. Hey, you're looking at it rationally. There are people who are useful to you and people who ain't. And the people who ain't Whoa. gotta go. Me, I'm not rational. I don't care if you're useful or not. I feel like taking you out, Devo. So that's what I'm doing. This is a serious offer. Work for me, you'll have everything you'll ever wanted. All I've ever wanted is to watch you drift in and out of consciousness as you're slowly disemboweled. Yes! Yes! That's the kind of creativity I need on my team! Come on! Come on! Let me out of here! Look! I got my own company! Trevor Phillips Industries! Oh, yeah! A, a fellow entrepreneur! Let me buy a steak! Give you money to grow! I don't know if you heard, but I'm kind of gold rich right now, so we there got we precisely go. nothing to offer! Hey, we good, T? Never better, amigo. Franklin? I'll be here. <coughs> Franklin. Hey, right, what's up? I assume you got him? Ooh, safe and so. Oh. Ain't that right, buddy? <laughs> hey, my bad, homie. I pick C. Ain't that a bitch? You know, Devin, the way I see it, and hey, I'm no intelligent businessman like you, but the way I see it, there's two great evils that bedevil American capitalism, the type that you practice. Number one is outsourcing. You paid a private company to do your dirty work for you, and then you underpaid that company because you thought you were big enough and bad enough that you didn't have to play by the rules. Oh, number two. Offshoring your profits. Offshore? Oh, it's horrible. You wouldn't want to be sent offshore just to save a little money, would you, T? Oh, no, Franklin? I wouldn't. Oh, no, I ain't would going nowhere. No, see, but we know your opinions on the matter, Devin. Keep your problems the fuck out of America, huh? <laughs> In this instance, when he puts it like that, it makes sense. Of course it does. Hey, Devin, goodbye, my old friend. Thanks for all the advice. Bye-bye. Here we go, people. Time to finish off Devin. Off you go. So now what? Now we keep a low profile and get on with our lives. As friends. Well, do I have a choice? No, not really. All right, then. 
as uh, flawed, awful, totally uncomfortable, and poorly matched friends. Absolutely. Oh, that's perfect. Then we can get back to the kind of capitalism we practice. Shit, I don't know how much more better that is than Devin's con. Ooh, hypocrisy, Franklin. Civilization's greatest virtue. Jesus, your therapist has a lot to answer for. I know, I still hate myself. But hey, at least I know the words for it now. Yeah, but I hate you, and I know the words for it. So does that mean I don't have to go to therapy? Look, man, you two motherfuckers terrify me of that middle age. I'm good. You're right to be afraid, Franklin. Yeah. Be very afraid, Franklin. <laughs> Tell you one thing, T. I'm getting too old for this nonsense. Oh. And there you have it, people. There you have it. That's it. There you have it. We finally did it, people. We got it done. So, man, this has been a world adventure through Los Santos and Plain County. This has been an absolute adventure. Man, <laughs> I just can't believe if I wouldn't have been here and I wouldn't have done this without you lot. Man, <laughs> this has been an intense walkthrough. Like, seriously. Man, <laughs> taught me like at least less parts than San Andreas did, though. But seriously, though. Man. Yeah, I just wanted to hit the cutscenes, like. Man, we got it done, people. That is it. We finally did it. And I'm going to show you now once I respawn, people. <sighs> and anyways, if you've made it from... If you watch from part one to this part, then you are an absolute legend. If you've... Leave a like right now. If you stuck from part one all the way to the very end like there we are there we are though people 100% completed man <laughs> this has been an intense walkthrough seriously like wow so <sighs> I must say though so what do you get when you have 100% of the game then which we're gonna say <sighs> I must say though even though GTA 5 is my favourite game. And, and hey. <laughs> I wouldn't have made it this far without you people. Like seriously. You've supported me throughout this whole walkthrough. And I appreciate every bit of it. Like seriously. <sighs> so I'm going to show you what you get for 100%. You usually get a Strangers and Freaks. Really. And I don't think it's there for now. But I'm going to show you what else you get. Right, where is it? Here it is, people. The 100% t-shirt. So, and you also get the I Love Los Santos shirt on the bed. So, anyways, though, people. So, anyways. I'm going to say this for the last time now. Thank you lot so much for watching this whole 100% walkthrough. This has been an amazing walkthrough. And some people want me to do GTA 4, and and I will definitely do that. I don't know where I'm going to do it, though, but um, keep a lookout, and I'll let you know. But um, for the last time for this walkthrough, thank you lot so much for watching, and I will see you lot very soon. Bye-bye.